What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're going to continue right where we left off. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. And stay within the light. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. I've I've never seen that. So I don't know what that means. I I'm sorry. I hate to say it. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's why I was exploring real quick. Batteries. Yes, I need those. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Turn them back on. We want the lights on. Not off. Okay. Anything over here? Maybe? Nope. nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. That's so oh, wait. What's... Hang on. Let's go over here first. Oh, another thermos. Yep, see, this This is why I did this. That, I'm kind of hoping that there's something over here. Alright, I think that's... I think that's it. Okay. All right. Let's get let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Good. Lock the door now. Yes, that's a good idea. Lock the door. Do not leave that thing unlocked. Very Dutch plain sanity. Along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity, and now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Hmm. It, it should. I hate to say it, but it, it really should. Wait, can Barry I use the... Had the keys to the car oh, damn rented. It. Wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All I right. knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. This is true. All right, go. I don't. I don't like it. 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 There goes the light. Damn it. I don't, I don't like this. Don't I do not like this. Do not like this. Oh, that's rude. Okay. On. Hang on. I'm gonna check this real quick. And it's a good thing I did. Look at that manuscript. Okay. Holy crap. Missing page. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. That's, uh, it was a little harsh, but okay. Uh, Rusty was, okay, that's right. Rusty's the park ranger, uh, from the cabins. Another page. 
Wait, what? The visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. What the fuck? Okay, that's uh... Don't tell me that, man. Oh, jeez. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. What the fuck? Rusty, hang on! I'm coming! Please, help me! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my Help god. Me. Can you hear me? Anyone? I'll Please come, man. Help. Holy Hello? shit. Back here. I'm back here. Hey. Just like the page. What the fuck? Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. <laughs> It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. What the fuck? Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Poor Max. Jeez, okay. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Okay. And just like the manuscript. It, ha it happened just like the freaking manuscript. What the hell, man? Okay. Let's grab this one. Wake reaches a safe haven of light. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Shoot, what the hell? Okay. How do I get the power back on? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yoink. Okay. What the fuck? I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. No, Rusty, no, buddy, no. What the fuck? Pick up manuscript page? The ground was covered with oily patches. Hang on. Rusty attacked by the, the dark visitor person. center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. What the hell? that looked like liquid darkness. What the hell? What the? Oh no, Max. Oh, come on, leave, leave the dog alone. No, Max. Buddy. Hey, whoa, 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 back off, buddy. Back off. Oh, shit. Buddy, Rusty's dead. I mean, come on. Let's, let's be honest. No, Max. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. 
Well, sure as hell want the mammoth. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a foreign fishing license. Obey the park rangers. No. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never! Never no closer than 100 yards! Two bears and wolves! Never approach any other wildlife cl closer than 25 yards! Pets must be leashed! Yeah, all times! Never leave your pet unattended! What? Come on. It oh, shit. To remove any Come on. I hate these guys. Come on, asshole. Oh, shit. Come on. Under a thin layer of skin. Just got an achievement. Oh, come on. I just realized I don't have to aim. Okay. Oh man, that, oh God, okay. No, oh, poor Max. Oh, that poor baby, that poor thing. Oh buddy, I'm so sorry. The Rusty, come on, man. What, why, why am I trying to fight this shit? Why? Am I insane? This is... This is dumb. At this point. I was gonna say, what about the kidnapper? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. <laughs> oh, jeez. No Stay shit, Barry. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Oh, that poor bastard. At least now he believes me. All right, manuscript. Rusty's final thoughts. Oh man. Poor In bastard. that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh man, that that's just a damn shame. Honestly. Ah, damn it, Rusty. You idiot. Wait. Man, I'm I'm kind of annoyed. I can't believe Rusty died. Damn it. Sound like he was a good man. It's a shame. It really it really is a shame. Wait a minute. Rusty and Rose were essentially in love with each other, right? I swear to God, if they kill Rose... I don't remember a lot of this game. Oh, son of a... I mean, it only makes sense if they kill Rose, you know what I mean? Like, in tra like tragedy? Damn it, I hope they don't kill Rose. Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. Buddies? Hey, how are you doing, guys? No no need for violence. No, 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 no need for the violence. Oh, shit. So I hit, I hit, uh, shift. But like an idiot, I somehow managed to forget. I forgot to actually hit an arrow. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. fine. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go, let's go. I swear to god if they kill Rose. She's a sweetheart. And she's a fan. 
They're gonna fucking kill Rose, aren't they? I. Uh, damn it. Better fucking kill Rose. Come on. I got this. You can do this. Alright. Heal up. Alright. Oh. An emergency chigadetta. Yes! Got some ammo. Freaking reload that shit. Real quick. Alright. Manuscript. Um, Wake sees the torch symbol. Corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Exactly. Someone, like, someone's leaving, like, these care packages. Dude. Really? Why, why do y'all gotta put an axe through everything? Like, of all things, why, why an axe? I am so confused. Oh, am I just dumb? Okay, I'm just dumb, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just dumb. I was supposed to jump over that. Okay. That didn't scare me at all. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't scary in the slightest. Not one bit. Mm -mm. Nope. Get out of here, birds. Fuck you. Okay. I don't like this. This game is scary. Okay. Oh. It, are you gonna open up or? Oh, okay. Never mind. I gotta walk into it. Okay. How much you want to bet? We get attacked by a shitload of birds here. This is the perfect spot. Shit. I can't run from them. What the fuck was that? Oh shit! Okay, I was partially right. There was a shitload of birds, but... What the hell? What the hell? Get up, Ellen. Get up, Ellen. Oh jeez. Oh! Yes! the hell are you? Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. The fuck? All right, boys. I mean, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end it for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.